Let's talk pings. So, for now, we have to think that whatever Barry Morphew told law enforcement he was doing on the Sunday, GPS and, you know, phone pings and things like that, we have to assume that whatever he told them he did, you know, on the day Suzanne Morphew was reported missing, we have to assume that it marries up with what his GPS shows, with what his phone pings show, right? So either that's what Barry did on that day, drove a particular vehicle, a particular place at a particular time, with a particular phone on him, and that marries up to the degree that the information garnered wasn't enough to have law enforcement arrest him or, you know, anything like that. Um, sort of hold him for, for a while and give him polygraph tests that we know of and things like that. Um, you know, so if that was Barry in his vehicle, using his phone, going into town, into Denver on the day that he said, we know that, you know, everything that's happened to Suzanne either had nothing to do with Barry or, you know, it's obviously happened prior to that um, or in a way that there's, you know, there's smoke and mirrors here, right? Um, and they just need to find the, that little piece um, to connect it to Barry, just solve that mystery if indeed he is responsible. Because, you know, have they checked everyone around him? Was it Barry in that vehicle with that phone? You know, did someone do Barry a favour? Um, you know, and if it's happened prior, how has it happened and what are FBI looking for, you know? Um, This, oh, wow, I mean, it's just such a mystery. Um, but someone that's looking to solve this mystery is Tyson Draper. So <laughs> um, this intrepid YouTuber who, um, <laughs> him and his balls of steel go around um, interstate in America, knocking on doors. Um, yeah, so he's going to be in Salida, which is... The township so you've got Maysville which is further into the interior it's about 12 miles up the road from Salida which is an, a reasonable sized township um, Maysville where the Morphew home is up the mountains away um, it's kind of like a hamlet because there's, you know there's a hundred homes there there's trailheads there and things like that and a few touristy things um, but everything really, you know, the town is Salida. Uh, so Tyson's going to, he's driving there. He's going to be at Walmart. If you're in the area, go and see him. Um, yeah, he's got a couple of questions for everyone. Um, what do you think happened to Suzanne? And do you think Barry has anything to do with her disappearance? But yeah, you know, the technology, it's interesting in this case, isn't it? Because we've been a little bit spoiled um, with technology in cases such as Watts, I'll just call it Watts, um, and Stauk, let's just say Stauk, because there's been a lot of data coming at us with telephone data, pings with Vivant home systems and things like that. And in this case, we don't have data from the home. Apparently that hasn't been working. Um, now that could look like, okay, this is premeditated, but it's also something I've heard is that the system wasn't working very well all the way along. 
Um, no, you'd think someone would want to get it fixed. Would you want to get it fixed if there was ongoing domestic abuse? Um, you know, it's probably better if, if, if the system is broken that it just stays broke. You know, you might not be intending on doing anything to your beautiful wife, but, you know, that's final. Um, but, you know, it sure comes in handy, I guess, if you if you did or if, yeah, anything happened in the home that you didn't want people to know about. And, yeah, the vehicles. I mean, I'm sure Barry had access to more than one vehicle. He could have left that mountain anyway on any day. Didn't have to drive into Denver. He didn't even need to take a particular phone. Um, Mum knows how to drive his truck. Did Mum drive into Denver and take a phone? Why, why has Barry's alibi checked out with the feds to date. Well, it's because on that day, nothing happened of import to Suzanne because it had already happened. Or it checks out because that's what he did, but someone was with him. Was Suzanne with him in the vehicle? Was Suzanne alive in the vehicle or not? You know, if Suzanne was taken, it's not going to be on a bike trail. Not if vehicles are not allowed on these trails. And do you think people just took her off a bike trail and dragged her somehow up into a road? No, she's gone missing from a road. And if she's gone missing from a road, she's long gone. What are the feds looking for then? I mean... You try and keep an open mind, but it does look more and more dire for Barry, doesn't it? It really does. Um, you know, just allegedly, allegedly, and just an opinion, and it's just a conversation. What do you think about the phone pings and the vehicle GPS information that the feds might have? Anywho, you've got to go.